guys, and welcome to the short explanation of the Business Messaging API trial. I'm going to give you a quick overview of what the Business Messaging API trial can do and how it works, so you don't have to read that uh, rather elaborate explanation in your email. You can just look at this video. Um, so let's get started. The thing I have set up here is a browser, and uh, as you can see, the address bar is pointing to cm.com slash app slash messaging trial. So that's where you need to go, and you'll be... Uh, confronted with this very simple form. So um, another thing I've set up is my Google phone. So it's uh, connected to my computer and I can show you the screen. We'll need that later on. But first, let's just start with uh, filling out the form. Um, I need my Google email address actually here. So that's this one, let me copy it over. There we are. And I have a German phone attached to or a German phone number actually attached to the to the phone that's connected to my computer. Um, CM.com as a company name is fine. I will accept the terms and conditions and the privacy policy, and then I can sign up. Now, as you can see, it doesn't actually do anything, and the reason for that is the Google Recapture here in the corner. Uh, I've had this window open for a while now, and uh, Google Recapture will think that's suspicious, so uh, it will not let the form through. Um, but as you can see, all the information is still in there. I can just try a second time. And now we've successfully requested a trial token. So see mail for details. So that's what we need to do. We need to check our email. And um, that's the email that's installed on the phone. As you can see, there's already an indicator there that there's a new email and I will open it. Your 24 hour trial has started. Now about those 24 hours, you might think 24 hours, well, isn't that a bit short? Um, it might seem that way, but uh, what we actually did was it, it, we allow you to request a trial key uh, as much as you like. So uh, if you want to test today, you can request a trial key, you'll get a trial key and you can, get, you can test for 24 hours. Uh, if you want to test again in like two weeks or two months or a half year, just request another trial key and uh, we'll give you a new trial key. Um, and that's convenient because uh, in some cases you might know that uh, you can sign up for a, for a trial somewhere, some company, and it's only valid for like four weeks or, or two weeks even. And uh, you just don't have the time to test it extensively within those two weeks. And you log back in and your account is expired and you can't start a new trial. Um, so using this method of, of being able to re-request trial tokens as much as you like, uh, you can test as much as you like and you test you can test whenever you want so that's uh, why this is only valid for 24 hours and as you have seen the the form is pretty simple so you can you can easily request more trial tokens uh, if you need uh, as you can see there's a temporary trial key let me copy that out uh, copy we are and let's read what the email says um, to start testing the API, you need to start by whitelisting recipients. Yeah, that's that's the first thing we need to do. So as you can see, if I want to test sending messages to WhatsApp accounts, I need to whitelist my own WhatsApp account so I can send messages to that account. Um, and to whitelist, I need to, to send the trial key to that account. So we, we have set up a, a business account here, cm.com business account, and it will go straight to that WhatsApp app. And all I need to do to whitelist is just paste in the trial key I just got and send it over. So that's what's up. Now let's go back to that mail. Uh, mail. And uh, whitelisting a Facebook account is next. So I don't actually have Facebook um, set up on this phone, but let's see what happens. It will try. It will try to send a message, but I'm not logged in with Facebook. So let's copy this out and try this in a browser, which will probably work. In this browser, I'm logged into Facebook, as you can see. I'm going to the CMO trial company, sending them a message. Uh, as you can see, I've done this before, uh, which won't surprise you. So let's copy in. Oh, of course, that's not the trial key anymore. Go back to the mail and back to the trial key. Let's copy it out again, real quick. So, copy. 
and then go back to Facebook and paste it in, send it over. Okay, so that should do the trick for Facebook. We have two more channels, so let's see. Um, Facebook, Instagram also. I do have the Instagram app installed on this phone, so that should work. Yep. Let's see because, oh no, this is Facebook, wait a minute, yes, there we are. Yeah, so this is the CM Trialco uh, Instagram account, um, it says Carrie Miller, but do be aware Carrie Miller does not really exist, so don't think about sliding into her DMs, uh, that would get weird pretty quickly because that's us on the other end. Um, anyway, just to send her a message now. Oh, wait a minute. I have to open the app first, of course. This is actual app. Let's send her a message and let's paste in oh, message and let's paste in that draw key again. There we are. So that would cover uh, Instagram. Back to the mail. We are. And the last one is actually, uh, we can whitelist, is Google's business messages. Um, now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Google's business messages, but Google's business messages is actually really business to consumer. Uh, I really like that channel. It's, it's one of my favorite channels, actually. Uh, it allows you as a company to, um, uh, to be present in Google search and on Google Maps. So if people try to find you in Google search, or your company actually, or on Google Maps, uh, they will get a link uh, to chat with you. And that's something we also support. Um, in this trial, you can use a link directly and you have to do this from a phone. So that's this one. And let's paste in the trial key again. So there we are. And that should cover Google Business Messages. Uh, cool. Okay, what's next? So we have whitelisted, if everything went as we planned, we have whitelisted a couple of accounts. Now, as you can see, there's also the possibility to test SMS. Um, SMS does have uh, some restrictions. Uh, there's a lot of rules and, and legislation around SMS in different countries. So it's, it's harder to test. It is possible, but I'm not going to show you in this demo because it would take uh, a lot more time. But uh, if you're interested in testing SMS, of course, uh, do read the documentation. It's, it's the same procedure as we're following right now, more or less. So uh, if you want to, uh, you can certainly test SMS. Um, and then we get to the trial dashboard. Now the trial dashboard is a page that will show you a little bit what, what's going on um, with your trial but uh, it's not actually made, as you can see, for mobile. It, it has to show a lot of information, so let me quickly copy that out and show you in the browser what's happening. There we are. So this is what we have now. As you can see, the trial dashboard shows you the, the trial key. Uh, it has some more tools, but uh, the thing is, uh, what we're on right now, is the whitelist, and the whitelist shows you we have actually whitelisted four accounts and four different types of accounts. Google Business Messages, Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp. And it has some example code. Now, uh, don't get scared immediately. It's it's really easy to, to start messing and meddling with this code. I'll give you a quick example. Wait a minute, let me start with WhatsApp. That's easiest probably. So as you can see, it's a curl command. And if you're a developer, you're probably familiar with curl. Curl allows you to send uh, API requests to servers. Um, uh, via the command line. There's also um, um, some piece of software called Postman that will allow you to do the same using a graphical user interface. So this is Postman actually. Uh, if you're not familiar, you can download Postman. You do need to make an account um, these days, but uh, it, uh, yeah, it, it, will, it will give you this. And it will allow you actually to import what we just copied. So let me paste in that uh, text that we just copied. And as you can see, Postman uh, uh, immediately recognizes it. Uh, the most important part is here in the body. That's actually the data we are sending to our API. A um, few things to note. The product token is in here. The product token is your trial key. Um, the allow channels tells uh, 
the API. Okay, I want to send this over WhatsApp. And the from and the to, of course, it's being sent to that German phone number I, uh, I set up. Um, and it says, hi, WhatsApp user, this is a test message. Well, let's just send it, see what happens. Let's check the phone. Yeah, as you can see, there is something being sent in WhatsApp. There we are. Hi, WhatsApp user, this is a test message. Yeah, so this is exactly what we what we sent in Postman, and as you can see, it arrives on uh, on WhatsApp. Uh, I can even send a message back if I want. Let's say, uh, hi, thanks for. So sending a message back. Um, okay, so that's WhatsApp. Um, let's see what else we have. Um, yeah, we, we can do the other channels as well. So, for example, this is uh, this is Facebook Messenger. Let me copy that curl command again. Put it in Postman again. File import. Just copy it in. Uh, same thing. It goes to the same URL. Um, Pocket token is the same. But now you can see the allowed channel is Facebook Messenger, and the from and the to are also different. And you might notice that these are numbers and not uh, Facebook account names. Um, same goes for Instagram, actually. If I go back to the whitelist, you'll see that the recipients are numbers. Uh, the reason being that um, Instagram users can actually change their handle, uh, but they cannot change this ID. This is a unique ID that belongs to that Instagram account. Even if they change their handles, their display names, uh, Will still arrive so that's uh, the reason that we're using these IDs instead of uh, Instagram handles or, or Facebook uh, uh, names uh, same goes for Google business messages actually which is a UUID uh, but yeah so back to postman a test message sent uh, okay, this is the sorry this is the fallback we also support fallback which uh, you can also find in the documentation so if a channel for, for whatever reason uh, can't be reached, we support fallback to SMS, actually, uh, if the phone number is, is present and known. Um, in this case, the message to Facebook will be, hi, Facebook Messenger user, this is a test message, blah, blah, blah. So let's see if that works. Uh, we need to go to the Facebook page, and it says that we are being messaged, hi, Facebook Messenger. Yeah, so, so Facebook works as well. Um, the next one. Here, Instagram. Let's see what Instagram does. Copy that over. Um, Postman and import. Probably get the hang of this right now. So, in the body, it says Instagram, not surprising. Uh, the from and the two are different, of course, and it says hi, Instagram user. Okay, let's just send it over. And that should appear on our phone in the Instagram app. There we are. Yeah. Hi, Instagram user. And also, if I want to send something back as an end user, I can. Okay. Thanks for this very cool Instagram message. So, we've sent something back. Uh, nice, so I've shown Instagram as well. We, well, well, while we're at it, we can also do Google Business Messages, of course. So we have everything complete. So this is Google Business Messages code. Copy it out. Whoa. Copy. Um, Postman import. Probably by now you know the drill. There we are. And in the body, it says Google Business Messages. So we know channel we want to send it over the from and the to mm, and it says hi Google Business Message so let's send that over see what happens it is accepted and uh, on my phone I'm getting a notification that somebody tried to, tried to send a message and there we are uh, I can also send something back here if I would like to Actually, Google's business messages. 
I don't know what I think about that, but it's it, that's the official name. So let's uh, send that over. Did it work? It works now. Okay, so now you've seen actually all the all the different channels and uh, all the ways that we can send messages to that channel. I do want to uh, show you one more thing, um, which is pretty cool and which is uh, one of the things that we're pretty proud of. Um, let's go to the documentation. We have developers.cm.com. Uh, yeah, there we are. And we have the messaging documentation here. And uh, I want to show you real quickly a few advanced features, or actually one advanced feature. Uh, for example, let's take Facebook Messenger, and Facebook Messenger has something called Reply Suggestions. Now, a Reply Suggestion is a question which has multiple answers. There's an example in code right here. Um, I'm copying out the rich content part. There we are. Copy. And just to show you, I'm going back to, let's see, is this Facebook Messenger? Yeah, this is Facebook Messenger. And I'm sort of pasting it over the existing rich content. Here we are. It's a little bit misformatted, but you get the gist. Uh, rich content. So now uh, we have a sort of a, a text with suggestions. And let me send that over. It has been sent. Uh, let's check Facebook what happens there and as you can see it says hi what can I do for you and then you have three options call me email me send me an SMS uh, which is pretty cool so it's a more advanced feature beyond uh, just uh, text and images um, and it works for Facebook but the cool thing is if I take for example my Google business messages and I take the allow channel the from edit to Copy and I go, go back to my example here in uh, Facebook Messenger. Paste it over. So what I'm doing now actually is I'm sending the exact same content, the exact same data to Google Business Messages. So exactly the same thing that I just sent to, to uh, Facebook, I'm now sending to Google Business Messages. So let's do that. Check the phone. And something has come in. And this is the Google Business Messages client. And as you can see, it shows you exactly the same thing. Uh, it, it shows you, hi, hi, what can I do for you? And the three options. So uh, let me select the email. Me. Um, and that's actually pretty cool. We, we try to do this for, for all the channels that we support. Uh, it's not always possible, um, uh, especially, unfortunately, WhatsApp has a different way of, of, of working. So it's not always possible to implement the same things, but the documentation will tell you what works and what doesn't work. Um, and this is a prime example. So, so I can send the exact same thing to uh, Google Me uh, Business Messages I as I can send to, to WhatsApp, uh, or sorry, to Facebook Messenger or to Instagram uh, for that matter. And it will show up uh, in the exact same way. So you don't have to adapt to different channels. The, the API is, is uh, generic, as, as generic as possible, and you can send the same thing over different channels to uh, to accomplish the same thing visually, so, which is pretty cool. So, um, yeah, that shows you what we can do uh, sending messages. One thing I do want to show you real quick now is the, uh, the dashboard. As you can see, we have the whitelist still here. We also have a tab called messages, and this is something we need to work on. Uh, I do need to refresh this. And when I then go to messages, I can see all the messages that I have sent and received. So as you can see, this is an inbound message. Uh, where is the actual message? Uh, oh yeah, this is the, the response I just clicked, right? I, I clicked email me, so that's what you get back. And this piece of code is actually uh, the exact same code you would get back if you onboarded to our platform and you would set up a webhook uh, to your server and uh, this is the, the actual data that gets sent to that webhook. So uh, if you're developing stuff, if you're, if you're experimenting with our API, uh, you can use this as a reference. This will, this will just get sent back to you uh, if you on board. So uh, you, can, you can write your code to accept these kinds of messages and, and yeah, pick the information out that you, uh, you'd like to process. So that's, uh, that's another thing also in this, uh, in this dashboard. Um, 
you can see all the messages going in and going out. Uh, yeah, and you can work with that. So hopefully that uh, is enough information for you to, to get started. Um, so lots of luck and uh, uh, yeah, hope to see you on board soon. Bye-bye.